in letting people know what you're doing. You need to let people know you're out there, you need to let people know what you're doing, um, and you need to play the right places. Yeah. At the end of the day, you know, you get booked into places that um, you think, okay, oh, the, the guy, that, the agent, this is great for this, great for this, great for that. And you realise, yeah, it's okay. Mm -hmm. But there's another place just that the local moment. people yeah. know is yeah. ten times better. Mm -hmm. And you kind of find that out, like you say, you can only find out after going around it. Do, yeah, which is what you do. Now. Yep, and everywhere we've been this tour, people say it's really good, but you should have played in, you yeah. know, Billy yeah. Joe Ray Bob's, and it's like, well, we're in the bar of it. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. And it's no good telling me to It should be yesterday, it's open that. Exactly. <laughs> or, yeah. or last year. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, I mean, at least we know next time is to say, okay, let's look at the places. This wasn't great, but people had said, play here, play here, play here, play here. And we've had people say, there's a great place to play, and we wanted to get you there, but it's only a pub. And, you, and, I, and I'd say, what does that mean? Yeah. I mean, it's only a pub. Well, is it better to play to five people in a bigger place? Yeah. I don't yeah. care. Because yeah. we, the gig we did in the UK songs was a pub. And Oh, yeah, stuff to the, the walls that, and I mean the love that we were doing and the, everything and that's what you want mm -hmm. and that's what I want um, I don't care what we're to play you know as, as long as it's good fun and people are enjoying it yep that's, that's, what that's that yeah. is all that matters so you'll do this finish this tour off that's got four four nights left four nights in this part there's mm -hmm. just in two sections four nights then we've got like Nine days home in Belfast, then we we'll do Belfast and three nights in Scotland, and that's the end of it. Um, yeah, it's been really fun. I would imagine Belfast is still. Belfast it, it is fun as long as you don't do it when there's a football match on. But I've been Belfast, it was short. It's a, it's a strange, strange uh, city. Yeah. It's, uh, you know, it, uh, uh, what, I don't even know what day it's on. It's on Wednesday? Yeah, yeah midweek. I mean, like anything, the, the other thing you find doing, of course, is, is that it's hard for people to fill places up midweek. Mm -hmm. I mean, last week we were in places and they'd say to me, why didn't you play on Saturday? Because you can't afford just to fly over and no, play one gig and go, and go back go home next week. Yeah. Um, but we've been thinking of plans for that, you know, come back, we'll go stay at home in Belfast for six weeks and just come over and do weekend gigs because mm -hmm. that's what people want you to do yeah yeah you know and i can't blame the people that own the places they've got to make money and you're saying to them can you pay this on a tuesday night and there's nobody wants to come out no, uh, a place that i was very impressed with last year opening wigan they wouldn't bust for the same reason because nobody's got to shoot out yeah, there not a week no no people's just not got the money now it, it, it's not the way it used to be no, no, really no. isn't I mean, you used to be able to do a tour, you'd play every night of the week, you'd guarantee crowds. Mm -hmm. no, no, no. Yeah. Even big bands. No, 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 no chance. chance. I stuck for it. No, no chance. People are paying money one night of the week to go out. Yeah, you're paying your, your <laughs> one night to yeah. go out. Exactly, you know, you're spot on. Yeah. 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 You know, yeah. and, and, and if it doesn't happen to be you, well, that's just tough. Do you not fancy the festival route? Do you? I'd love to do that next year. We were supposed to be on Rebellion this year, but let's just say things got messed up and whatever. So. Want to get on for the rebellion next year, and also um, there's a guy coming that does a thing called Punk by the Sea. Okay, yeah, Blackpool is that? It's not. It's it one. It's, it's one in Blackpool and one Scarborough. Where is Scarborough, Brighton? He was that one guy. Scarborough and Brighton. That's well, like I know, but it's it is a seaside. Yeah, join yeah. it. Well, he does that. So what we're looking at is doing it where things like that are great because not only. Is it like a guaranteed thing? But people get to see you, you get exactly. exposure. Yeah. And, and a good cross section too. Exactly. Yeah. So, I mean, you're not having to try and say to people, we play this sort of music and yeah. we do this because it's there. Mm -hmm. And as the dam tour proved to me, people will enjoy it. So, we'll want to do that. That's next year. And, um, I mean, Rebellion must be great. I've never been. Mm -hmm. I'd love to play that. Uh, I've looked at Rebellion a few times, and I will be honest about Rebellion. I've looked at it, and I've looked at the price. Oh, you see. And I've always thought there's two bands that I like there, and I'm not paying 100 pounds to see them. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's a lot of money for what it is. Plus, then your accommodation. You know? Yeah, because it's not L where you can go camp and stuff. Yes. Oh, you know, okay. it's, it's all guest houses. Yeah, and I, 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 I've never been. Yeah. You know, but I, 
and that's the reason why. It's a lot of money, yeah. Like you said, if, yeah. if you look at two hundred quid, quid now, aren't but I think it'll easily two hundred quid per head. Yeah, you know, for a few behind yeah. it, you like. Yeah. And well, well, it is a very, very popular thing. Oh yeah. You know, a lot of people are, are asking me why, and why aren't you there? Mm -hmm. Sort of thing. You know, you should be building that or whatever. And the reason is, one hundred and two hundred pounds to see two bands. Which is a pretty good reason. Not happening. Pretty really good reason to say yeah. you don't have one. But yeah, I mean, I want to do that and get back and do, like, say, the festival stuff because that's a good thing to tie it around rather than say to people, look, yeah. can, you, can you get us somewhere to play on Wednesday night? Mm -hmm. And you, you can't expect people to come bounce along, and go, yeah, I want you here on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Far enough, York here, Wednesday night. Who knows what it will be like, but so what? It's, it's a gig on Wednesday. And that's right, yeah. And, um, Fair play to people for doing it, but if I owned a place like this, I don't think I would do it. No, no. But, like you say, see what the night's like, and it could be the best night of the week. Who we're knows? In, we're in New York, it's a strange place. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> the other thing with it is, as well, is that, you know, the people who own the venues don't want us playing the you know, seven or ten people either. Do That's true I mean? enough, of course um, it is, yeah. So, yeah. The, I suppose, like, the the only thing you can hope for is people make an, an effort. Um, yeah. And as Henry said, anything we play, we certainly make the effort to make yeah. sure that you know it's as good as we can prove on. Plus, it is you know, I suppose at the end of it all, the the reaction that we've got not only in the last tour but in this one mm. is really encouraging. Yeah. You know, it would be worse if people were coming up and going, "Listen, I didn't know what they yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that you know, be, yeah. I didn't want, didn't know what they expect, but yeah. the shape, yeah. you know." Um, the reaction is absolutely brilliant, and again, you know, there's been gigs that we've done on this tour where maybe five or six more people in would have just made it, you know, look like yeah. a, you know, um, but as I say, um, we're happy enough to continue on with it because it can only get, the crypt can only get bigger, you know. Uh, uh, Gory said it, the thing that keeps me with it is that people do say this is really good. Mm -hmm. If I thought it was just below par and just taking money off people, yeah. I, I would know I would feel that, but I don't. And people don't come up at, at the end saying, what are you doing? Yeah. People are saying this is really good. Well, the stuff that I'm really about it. is that, you know, good night, I'd buy all, exactly. sat yeah. top nights out. That's remember, what you need. Brought yeah. a few memories, yeah. you know. I've not read anything where I went to see a load of fucking yeah, we should not yeah. bother, no. you know. So, you haven't seen me do this yet? No, not yet. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> okay well. <laughs> Maybe we're about to stop there. <laughs> <laughs> Just before we bring it to a close, um, as you are aware, the magazine is called Fuck X Factor. Yes. What's your opinion of X Factor? And, I have um, never seen it. Good man. Deliberately good man. so. Uh, it's, now I'm living in America, you see, it's opening in America, I want to say August, Simon Cowell's opening the American version mm -hmm. of it. Um, you know, I don't know. I can see two sides of it in that, okay, it gives people a chance to blah, blah, blah. But when it comes to the music side of it, mm -hmm. I've never seen anything so manufactured. And controlled. It's, yeah. it's all like, here's here, even if you have talent, you come on, exactly controlled, they're, they're like, okay, this guy's good. And all they do, of course, then is manufacture them into, into her, him and her into what they want yeah. and put them in the middle. Um, one of the comments that was made on there that stick in my mind is, uh, you sound too much like a rock band. He came on as a rock artist, he was voted on as a rock you artist. Like a rock and band. what is, they're saying to me now six weeks in is, yeah, but you're still sounding like a rock band. Yeah. Well, isn't that why people voted him on in the first place? Wouldn't you think so? Yeah, you know? Uh, I think it's terrible. I mean, my own personal opinion is that things like X Factor stops the talent from going it does, anywhere it does. because there's so much money and machinery involved in X Factor, yep. you know, and it stops the real talent. They run with it. It's not hard, hard to see how, like, even up and coming bands can get a break mm -hmm. because everything is geared towards, you know, total manufacturing. It's also geared towards like two or three. TV shows. Well, yeah. when we started with yeah. Devil Fingers and we went into record companies, they'd say, and always said this, they listen to the album and say, that's really good, but where's your single, right? Yeah. No. It's like, they make the single, they make the video, they make the person. Yeah. And then ask you and what other music. Yeah. 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 And it's like, it's like, who cares about whether it's any, any, I don't know what the word is, whether it means anything, whether it stands anything. And it's, it's so disposable. I mean, 
and I, I personally think there's nothing wrong with disposable pop music. No. But when it's manufactured and shoved like that, it's yeah. like, no, no, that's enough. And the other thing I thought I'd mention was the trouble in Ireland seems to be coming back. Right that's now. a whole different thing. I mean, it, it's it's one of those things where unless you're from there, mm -hmm. I mean, people like uh, in America, they'll say, no, it's, isn't it great that it's all over and things? And you say to them, who told you this? Yeah, who told you that? Yeah. I mean, okay, they're not blowing buildings up or shooting people, but it's not over. <laughs> it's not. And you, I don't think it ever will be. There's no way it's going to be over. And you'll get this whole, oh, we need to forget the past and we need to forget this. And what bugs me is, yeah, we need to forget the past. And then some organization will say, we need an inquiry into this. Yeah. And it's like, you're, you're picking which ones you want to forget. And it's hard, you know, we want an inquiry into this, but we want an inquiry into that. And it's like, where's forget the past? Mm -hmm. um, and again, no matter what side it is, a lot of it's understandable. Yeah. You can say, forget the past, yes, but I want to find out why my brother was blown yeah. up. Yeah, I mean, the history of Ireland is not a problem. Uh, I suppose the, the job that I do back home is I actually work with quite a lot of those groups. Okay. So I do. Um, He's not a terrorist. No. He works with them. Not this week. <laughs> no, not, not, not this week. Not even a reform terrorist. <laughs> but the, the difficulty that I have is, you know, people are looking for justice. Mm -hmm. But nine times out of ten, what they really mean is just us. Yeah. And yeah. the difficulty yeah. I have with that is that whenever all the inquiries are done, if people don't like what they hear, then it's all wrong, yeah. you know. And I do believe that in order to move forward, people have to deal with the past. You, you can't sort of, you can't look forward without dealing with it. But it has to be dealt with in a, in a sensitive way. It has to be dealt with in a, a realistic way. And it has to be dealt with um, in a truthful way too. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's a lot of people who have had to stomach quite a lot of things with the government that we have in place and you know bits and pieces like that. Now, the difficulty that there, there seems to be is because there's nothing for young people coming through the, the various working class estates, right? Yeah. Um, and I would be working with, with quite a lot of people who are working with, with young people, and these would be people who would be ex paramilitaries from both sides, um, who are finding it incredibly difficult to try and keep a lid on the whole dissident movement. Mm -hmm. So you have the whole like dissident Republicans coming up, and you have young people, 16, 17 year olds, especially from like the working class nationalist areas, going, I don't want to. It's okay if you used to go out and pat up on and yeah. rat with the Brits, you know, and now you're telling us that we have to be friends with them. What's all that about? Yeah. When you've still got murals on the wall depicting, you know, so called Irish freedom fighters and mm -hmm. heroes and stuff on both sides. Um, and I suppose what you've seen happening in East Belfast was like a mirror image of that, yeah. where you had the young Protestant working class yeah. uprising, if you like, against the, the sort of security forces. And the thing about it is, is, it doesn't matter how much money you pump into those areas because it's not about really physical um, barriers, it's about mental barriers that people yeah. have and it's about making sure that people know where they come from and have an understanding of the past before they can move forward. And I think, yeah, things have got better but there's still a hell of a long way to go. Yeah. We will now end with a song. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> excellent, excellent. Nice woman. We gotta get back to the hotel quickly.